gift of mission. Totally yours, we give ourselves faithfully yours until the end. To, to your mission, Lord, we give our yes. Oh, when the sun rises above the hills, shed the word and serve those who are in
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Our few announcements. Nais po namin ipaalam na sa darating na March 4, ang imahe ni Tata Jose ay dadalo sa ating parokya sa ganap na alas 4 ng hapon. Siya po ay mananatili sa ating parokya habang mar hanggang March 11 at aalis si Tata Jose ng alas 9 ng umaga. Patungo sa parokya ng Mary Mother of the Church. Kaugnay po nito ay magkakaroon tayo ng rosaryo ni San Jose tuwing ikalima ng hapon. Habang narito siya sa atin at susundan ng banal na misa na ika ng gabi, may naka-assign pong organizations na mga mass sponsors. Ang lahat po ay inaanyayahan na dumalo 
at inaanyayahan din po namin kayo na maging mass sponsor sa mga araw na nabanggi. Ang mga lugar na ikot ng ating Blessed Sacrament sa March 7, Sunday at 9 a.m. ay ang mga sumusunod. Cluster 6, 7, and 8, Relay Street, Apollo 5, Phase 2, Emeos, uh, Santo Nino, San Marco Street, Luna Rover Street, Pegaso Street, San Marco Street, San Marco Extension, Early Bird West, Nimbus Central, Nimbus West, Pegasus, Colombia, Challenger, Moonstone, Villa Pangarap, Juliero. Maraming salamat po. Tonight's Mass is offered by the following Mass Intentions. We pray and thanksgiving offered by Tulaylay Family, Orlan Nitz, Villarese Family, Rachel Lazarna Adricola, Gina Lugto, Jose Salter, Bobby Javilianos, Jean Santaynes, Samilang Dalagan, Bernardo Family. We pray for the special intention of Levan Family, Maria Jesusa, Wilfredo Palada, Maya Jamos, David Dalagan, Lori, and Bernard Manawag. Mass intentions. Uh, this mass is offered for the eternal repose of the souls of the following. Lily, Leonisa, Teresa, Antonio, Michael, Horita, Danilo, Benita, Angel, Basilio, Andrew, Hermine Hildo, Feli, Adoracion, Cleofe, Leticia, Shirley, Antonia, Felix, Rick J, Ruth, Jimuel, Hinaro, Leopoldo, Crisanta, Tito, Liza, Ramel, Lino, Angeles, Arnold, Maria Teresa, Remedios, Jose, Feliciana, Alex, Donna Angela, Jade, Manuel, Federico, Pilar, Purita, Nadora, Leoncio, Hermelo, Carmen, Asis, Flor de Lisa, Victoria, Abraham, Cesario, Vicente, Clemente, and Aurelio. And for all souls of our dearly departed entered in the Osprey Garden and those enrolled in Mass Card and for our poor souls in Purgatory. <coughs> Good evening once again. Today is the second Sunday of Lent with the theme, The Challenge to Bring Out the Best in Us. Our Mass Presider is our visiting priest, Father Anthony Paul Bicomong. Please all rise for the Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise and thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the wonders of the Lord, let us call to mind our sins and implore His forgiveness and strength.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. the first letter of Saint Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered a reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When he came to the place of which God has sold him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven. Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horn in the thicket. So he went and took the rum and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sons of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believe even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for of us all, how will be? How will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? Christ Jesus, it is who died, or 
brother was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Please all rise for the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses. And they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good evening. Alam ko lahat tayo dito ay naging studyante. At meron pa rin tayo dito mga estudyante, mga mag-aaral. Alam naman natin kung ano ang mga pagsusubok at kahirapan na nararanasan ng isang estudyante dahil dumaan tayo dyan. At yung iba sa atin ay dumadaan sa karanasan ng pagiging estudyante. Nandyan na yung mga pagsusulit, yung mga examinations na dapat paghandaan. Nandyan na rin yung mga research, yung mga term paper na dapat tapusin. Yung pagsusunog ng kilay para mapag-aralan ang mga topic ng mga iba't ibang subject. So talaga mahirap maging estudyante. Pero kapag yung estudyante iniisip niya yung kanyang pagtatapos para makapunta siya sa susunod na yugto ng kanyang buhay, nagkakaroon siya ng pag-asa. Nagkakaroon siya ng lakas ng loob. Kasi iniisip niya yung graduation, yung pagtatapos. Yan mga kapatid, ang tinatawag nating liwanag ng estudyante sa kanyang kadiliman. Hindi lang ang estudyante nakakaranas ng pagsubok at paghihirap. Kahit ang mga atleta, ang mga manlalaro. Alam naman natin na talagang Inuubos nila ang kanilang panahon sa pagpapraktis, sa pag e para sa ganun, maging perpekto at ganap ang kanilang paglalaro. O kaya kung anumang 
sports ang kanilang sinasalihan. Minsan nga wala na silang social life. Pero okay lang sa kanila yun. Kasi ang kanilang isipan ay nakatuon doon sa pagiging kampyon sa tagumpay. At ang pagiging kampyon at tagumpay ay ang kanilang liwanag sa kanilang kadiliman. Alam niyo mga kapatid, ito ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa ating mga apostoles. Lalo na doon sa tatlong malapit sa Kanya. Si Pedro, si Juan, at si Andres. Sila malalapit kay Yesus. Kaya binigyan niya ng sulyap at patikim ng kanyang pagkajos, ng kanyang kalwalhatian sa pamagitan ng pagbabagong anyo. Transfiguration sa Mount Tabor. Bakit? Kasi alam ng Panginoon na after some time, siya ay magdurusa, maghihirap, ipapako sa krus at mamamatay. Kaya baka mawala ng pag at lakas ng loob ang kanyang mga tagasunod. Kaya binigyan niya ng liwanag sa kanilang magiging kadiliman. Binigyan niya ng sulyap at patikim sa kanyang pagkajos sa kanyang kalwalhatian. Liwanag sa kadiliman. Alam niyo, talagang kailangan natin dumaan sa kadiliman muna bago matanto at maatim ang kalwalhatian, ang liwanag. Kasi nga, sabi nga nila, no gods, no glory. Yan ang mga mantra ng mga sundalo. Walang tapang, walang karangalan. No pain, no gain. Yan ang mga mantra ng mga atleta. Kapag hindi ka naghihirap at nasasaktan, wala kang aabutan. Mararating. Ganun din sa ating buhay kristyano. No Good Friday, no Easter Sunday. Lahat ng tagumpay ay dadaan sa daan ng krus. At yan ang tinahak ni Jesus. At yan din ang ating tatahakin. Pero wag tayong matakot. Meron tayong liwanag sa kadiliman. Meron tayong pag Meron tayong nagbibigay lakas na loob. Yat ang ating ating Panginoong Yesus. Kinakailangan magdusa rin tayo, maghirap din tayo. That's part of life. Hindi natin mapagkakait na tayo ay lahat ng problema. Na tayo ay nasusubukan. Na tayo ay may kahirapan. Because that's part of life. Ayan ay isa sa mga consequence ng ating kasalanang mana ng ating original sin. Alam niyo may isang bata, pinagmamasdan niya yung uod, yung caterpillar, sa isang pupa sa kanyang bahay. Unti-unting lumalabas yung uod, yung caterpillar, at hirap na hirap na lumabas doon sa pupa. Alam niyo itong batang ito, nahabag siya. Kaya ang ginawa niya, kumuha siya ng gunting, pinutol niya yung pupa yung bahay para sa ganun makalabas yung uod. Nakalabas nga yung uod bilang isang paru-paro pero malnoris na paru-paro. Hindi makapag hindi makalipad bakit? Kasi kulang ang kanyang pakpak. Bakit? Kasi pinutol ng bata. Hindi na intindihan ng bata na kailangan maghirap itong caterpillar, itong uod para sa ganun makakuha siya ng fluid para sa kanyang katawan at magagamit niya ito para magkaroon siya ng isang malakas at magandang pakpak. Hindi naintindihan ng bata na kailangan maghirap yung caterpillar. Ganon din tayo sa ating buhay. Pero wag tayong mawawala ng pag-asa. Kaya nga binibigyan tayo ng Panginoon itong pagbabagong anyo para hindi tayo mastak, maiwan sa dalamhati sa lungkot sa paghihirap meron tayong pag-asa meron tayong lakas ng loob na ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon ituon lang natin ang ating 
Focus sa Kanya. Sapagkat Siya ang ating pag-asa. Siya ang ating lakas. Ito nga nangyari kay Abraham sa ating unang pagbasa. Sinubukan siya ng Panginoon. Ialay ang kanyang anak. Kaya naguluhan si Abraham. Nagka-problema kasi gustong gusto niya magkaroon ng anak, si Isaac. Pero iaalay pa niya sa Panginoon. Pero nung ginawa ni Abraham, inaalay niya. Gusto niyang ialay. Nag- He trusted the Lord. Pinagkatiwala niya ang Panginoon. Kaya nung ginawa ng Panginoon sa kanya, He was rewarded. Ginantimpalaan. And He became the father of all nations, Israel. Si Abraham, kanyang lipi, napakarami. You cannot even count, sabi ng Panginoon, like the sand on the shore. Mga kapatid, habang tayo ay nasa panahon ng kwaresma, naghihirap tayo dahil sa ating penitensya, almsgiving, penance, and prayer. That's part of it. Pero all this, hahantong nito ay ating muling pagkabuhay na sana pagdating ng Easter Sunday, kasama natin ang ating Panginoon, muli tayong mabubuhay mula sa ating lumang pagkatao sa ating pagiging bagong tao. Kaya pagpatuloy natin ang ating mga penitensya, ang ating paghihirap, pero wag tayong maiwan sa paghihirap na yan at dalamhati. Alam natin na merong muling pagkabuhay. May Easter Sunday sa lahat ng Good Friday. May tagumpay sa halap ng kahiraan. At ang Panginoon ay kasama natin sa lahat ng paghihirap at sa lahat ng ating tagumpay. Let's all stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The splendor of the transfiguration counteracts and helps us accept the sad reality of the cross in the life of Christ as well as in ours. Trusting in the unfailing love of the Father for all of us, we say, Lord, we trust in you. Let us repeat, Lord, we trust in you. For the church, we should faithfully accomplish his mission for proclaiming of all to all nations that Jesus is the only Savior. Let us pray. Lord, we trust in you. For the Holy Father, our bishop, and all other spiritual leaders, may they constantly trust in God's love even in the midst of afflictions and oppositions. Let us pray. Lord, we trust in you. For those who are undergoing severe trials, may they find in the Lord the source of their consolation and strength. Let us pray. Lord, we trust in you. For those who feel confused and uncertain, may they find meaning to their lives in the teaching and life of Jesus. Let us pray. 
Lord, we trust in you. For all of us, we believe this Lenten season in total availability to do what God wants in imitation of Abraham and Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, we trust in you. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, we trust in you. God, our Father, source of all strength and consolation, make us faithful to you till death, following the example of Jesus, your Son, who lives and shines forever and ever. Amen. Our offer for tonight's Mass is the El Sedai Group. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show, even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim.
is kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, o Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jesse our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us now offer the prayer our Lord Himself taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. The Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Do not allow me to be separated from you. Amen.
Horatio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We apply to your protection. O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O gracious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Our Lady, health of sick, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, pray for us. Please all rise. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us, while still on earth, to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son. May they always desire 
and at last attained that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to be to the amazement of his apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and live in the presence of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Sorry.